All right, as California continues to drift further and further to the left, more of its residents are fleeing the Golden State, opting instead for more business-friendly, some red states like Texas. Our next guest, editor-in-chief of Campus Reform, Lawrence Jones, calls Texas home, and he has a message for those people fleeing uh, from California, and that is to not mess with Texas. Don't mess with Texas, Lawrence. What do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah, it's my home, man. I appreciate you having me on. And, um, you know, I've been covering this for a while, Where whether it was Battleground, Texas, where a lot of the people uh, in, in, in liberal, uh, uh, you know, cities across the country had this plan to turn Texas blue. Um, and it seems like uh, it's, it's successful right now. I mean, this was a big turn, the Beto versus uh, Cruz race. The interesting thing, though, is, is, is that um, the born Texans um, actually ended up voting for uh, Beto, and, and that was a little shocking to me um, because Texas mm. is known for um, its business um, innovation and uh, no state tax. Right. And so a lot of times when people come to Texas, they're fleeing uh, oppressive states um, that don't uh, have a business-friendly, um, um, you know, uh, city. Yeah. Well, you see a lot of that, especially in California. They've got uh, some of the highest taxes. It's really tough on business in California. And we've seen time and time again, a lot of the companies are getting out. And Nevada has become very popular. Texas has become very popular. Look at the problems there. Uh, the homelessness in the San Francisco Bay Area is out of control, too. Uh, and home prices. And it's very tough to build homes in California because of regulation. And the population grows. And that's why the houses are so expensive. Yeah, so, you know, it's overall the liberal policies that's yeah. in these states that cause them to uh, end up going to a place like Texas. But I think sometimes when people flee those places, sometimes they forget the laws that were put in place that actually made them want to leave the state. <laughs> um, and, and then you have the Texans that have it so good and um, they, they feel so good in the state that they forget um, what caused them to get these low taxes and, and right. to have a surge in economy uh, in a business friendly uh, state. So, you know, I've never considered running for office on a federal level, but if they continue to come after my state, Rob, I may consider running for office. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not just them coming after it. The demographics in Texas are changing as well. But let's look at California for a second and a study done in the Bay Area uh, that gives some of these numbers. And they're actually pretty surprising uh, when you look at them. Uh, if uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, likelihood to move out of the Bay Area right there in 2018. 46% of people, according to this study of about 1,000 people in the Bay Area, want to get out. Uh, that's up just from two years ago at 34%. So you're really seeing the pinch there. Um, wh what does California need to learn, I guess, from the rest of the country? As you see here, 61% of people want to get out of the Bay Area and go to another state versus just another part of California. W what's the message California needs to learn about how to run a state versus, uh, you know, the way they're doing it? Well, uh, well, I think Rob, they need to first learn how to put their the residents first. I mean, you you yeah. have you have crime, you have drugs on the street, and you also have them a state that's also prioritized illegals within their state with sanctuary, sanctuary city uh, ordinances and, and, and laws to protect them. And so you really, uh, with all the businesses in uh, California, the uh, the people, the residents are struggling, and they really right. shouldn't. With all the amount of taxes that they're getting, there's no excuse for some of these public safety the, crises that you're seeing the jobs, there. And so a yeah. lot of people want to leave uh, to go to a, a more beneficial state where they pay taxes. Yeah, and then the population's growing exponentially. And like I said, you talk to developers out there about how tough it is to build anything out there. I mean, they, don't, they do not because want to build new housing. And so you've got a growing population. Right. That's why the houses are so ridiculous. You can't even afford anything. Lawrence, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much, brother. All right.